Welcome back everyone, Nick and Lex here. Thank you so much for joining me to another episode of Music with Nick. Today we got a marathon lined up. I'm super excited. I just got, we just got back as you guys know. So this is the second marathon of the week that I'm doing for Dave. And I'm super excited because this is basically themed. Um, and it's, uh, it is basically themed like a darker tone marathon. So this is um, what Dave wanted. I guess um, I'm sure he's referring to the lyrics. Um, and also since I am looked at the artists, it's pretty much... Um, artists uh like rock and um and stuff like that but uh um give me one second i got it right here the list that dave sent me and here it is so it's it's dark themed dark theme so we have one uh, the first song is mother by danzig uh the second one is woke up this morning um this is the uh the specific version that I chose um that Dave wanted um for uh by Alabama. Then we have Red Right Hand by Nick Cave and the Bat Seeds, Rest in Peace by Dorothy, and After Dark by Tito and Tarantula. So I've not I, I've I've heard of Danzig. I think that's the only artist that I do recognize, but that's pretty much it. So I'm super excited, super stoked. Um, also, let me give you the the years. Danzig is from 88. Um, we have Alabama 3, The Exile on the Cold Harbor Lane. That's the album, um, 1997. Then uh, Nick Cave is Let Love In. This is from 1994. And then we have Dorothy, Gift from the Holy Ghost. This is 2022. Okay. And then Tarantism is from 97. So here you go. So I'll pay, of course, closer attention to the lyrics because if it's dark themed, then I'm sure that just the lyrics are going to be a little bit darker which is all good by me. So awesome. So um, without further ado, let's load up the songs. Let get them, let's get the marathon going. But again, thank you so much, Dave, for sponsoring the video, for sponsoring the marathon. Thank you so much for your support. Also, all your supports and comments uh, throughout the, you know, the, the, the weeks we were gone um, in Mexico and Germany. We did have a great time. I'm like I said before in the previous video, I'm wearing this vintage Munich shirt from 1158 when Munich was founded. Super happy we saw so many great things. So, okay, here we go with the music. I'll be right back with you. Guys. All righty then. So here we go with the first song, Danzig. And this is Mother. Here we go. <laughs> Not to walk my way Tell your children not to hear my words What they mean, what they say Mother Mother Can you keep them in the dark for a while Can you have a breath of wedding world Oh, mother Mother Gonna take you down Yeah. 
Yeah, that was a good, good song. Um, it reminded me of Judas Priest. I don't know, uh, because Dave told me, you know, you might recognize a couple of songs from movies. I don't know, maybe I've heard this before, but just like the, I don't know, the the verse, but um, let me just analyze this real quick because it reminded me a lot of Judas Priest, like the style of rock, like early Priest, you know, not as heavy metal um, as they became later. I don't know. I mean, it says heavy metal, metal and rock, Danzig, but this was a softer song, but let me see. So, uh huh. Oh. Uh huh. So basically, it's against the father, and also he's like, I'm going to take your daughter out tonight, which is pretty dark. And then, if you want to bang heads with me, do you want to feel everything? Mm hmm. Till you're bleeding. Yeah, it's it's pretty dark themed. <laughs> wow. Um Yeah. Yeah. So I guess he's like more defending his mother, but his father is like, you know, I get it, you know. I can relate. I mean, I would never, of course, dare to put my hands on my father. Um, that is something I would simply never that is just runs against my you know dna and beliefs and everything you know you should always respect your parents even though if they you know decide to you know mistreat you or whatever but i mean they're still your parents so it's pretty dark you know it's pretty dark but it was a great rock song great solo great singing the guy is like he looks like arnold there's a picture of him. Um, he looks like a like he he he's into the weights. Um, so yeah, pretty good. It reminded me like yeah, like priest, not as heavy as Maiden, not as heavy as Metallica. Um, more like in the like realm. So like, I don't know. It was just like ACDC, I would say early priest because priests got very very heavy and very very different um but it was a great song um so I'm, so this is wake up this morning um wake up this morning alabama three let me just pull up the lyrics because otherwise um Yeah, because, I mean, it is about the lyrics, you know? Oh, oh, okay, so this is in The Sopranos, which I have not seen. <laughs> okay, that's that's a lot of lyrics. I'll, I'll need my glasses for this. It's just too close. I can see so well when it's far away, but if it's too close, it, it gets blurry. Okay, all right, so let's let's run Woke Up This Morning. All right, here we go. And after three days of drinking with Davido, I just get an inkling to go on home. So I'm walking down Cold Harbor Lane, head hung low, three or four in the morning. The sun's coming up and the birds are out singing. I let myself into my pad, wind my way up that spiral staircase and stretch out nice on the chest of fear. Peter Cantrip is erect, it's already on the CD player, and I just push that remote button to sublimity. Think it. And listen to the sweet sculptural rhythms of Charles Mingus. And G.R. Monroe's and Jackie McLean duet on no saxophones, and the sound makes its way out the window, mingling with the traffic noises outside, you know. And all of a sudden, I'm overcome by a feeling of brief mortality. Cause I'm getting on in the world, coming up on 41 years, 41 stony gray steps towards the grave, you know, the box awaits its grizzly load, now I'm gonna be food for worms, and 
just like Charles Mingus wrote that beautiful piece of music epitaph for Eric Dolphy. I say, so long, Eric. So long, John Coltrane and Charles Mingus. So long, Duke Ellington and Lester Young. So long, Billy Holiday and Ella Fitzgerald. So long, Jimmy Reed. So long, Muddy Waters. And so long, Howlin' Wolf. This morning, got yourself a gun. Your mama always said you'd be the chosen one. She said, one in a million, you got to burn the shines. You were born under a bad sign with a blue moon in your eyes. And you woke up this morning, all that love had gone. Your papa never told you about. recognize that 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 kind of like lick there um i've not seen like we've tried so many years alexa and i to watch the sopranos and it's not we love everything like mafia you know narcos we're into that stuff but it's just something about the time like we never have enough time it took us years to get into um uh what's it called walter white um breaking bad and it's so crazy because first we didn't get into it we couldn't get into it and then we watched like the first four episodes and we were like oh i don't know and then i was like okay alexa let's just try one more time let's really try and understand this and then oof, we watched the whole thing like literally in a matter of like a week and we loved 
Breaking Bad. So I think we just have to get into that, you know, mindset and just watch The Sopranos. The thing is, like, I, I, I think I watched the ending. My mom was watching The Sopranos. And then I walked into when she was watching the ending... And I kind of, and I've heard that the ending is not the best ending. But I mean, you, I mean, if you're gonna base the whole show on an ending, then maybe you shouldn't watch the show because it's also what happens between the show. I know the ending is a, if the ending sucks or something, then of course, maybe you don't even want to watch the whole thing. But I, I'm not like that, you know. Even though I know what happens, um, I'm still can give a show and so and a show like this a chance so i i think i i played a little longer version that doesn't matter to me at all um i think the whole intro when he's talking about you know john coltrane and duke ellington that was not in the lyrics or the original version but hey that's totally fine with me um let's see so yeah that was definitely dark because when you wake up in the morning and uh you get a gun you're not doing going in the right direction that moment. But I mean, you know, everybody has their, you know, reasons, I guess. Crazy stuff. So it's really cool. This was more dance and electronic music, which says here. So, but yeah, I'm definitely going to give, you know, um, and also this was not written for the Sopranos, you know. So even though I'm talking about Sopranos, it's just so related to it now you know i mean it happens with some theme songs they just become that uh that i mean i think one was the uh theme song or the opening song for friends or like um house you know they would just come one with it with the show oh so see uh so danzig it says here all people also search for Judas Priest breaking the law. See, so yeah, so I did. I kind of like draw the similarity right there. Okay, so next song is Nick Cave and the Bad Seed. So let's pull it up. The lyrics. Uh, the Bad Seeds. Red right hand. I. Okay, there we go. Oh wow. Okay. All right. So here we go. I'm just going to leave my glasses on for now. Um, and here we go. Yeah. Take a little walk to the edge of town and go across the track. Where the viaduct looms like a bird of doom As it ships and cracks Where secrets lie in the board of fires And the humming wires Yeah, man, you know you're never coming back Across the square, past the bridge, past the mills, past the stacks on a gathering storm comes a tall, handsome man in a dusty black coat with a red right hand. Okay. Don't have no sex. 
self-respect You feel like an insect Well, don't you worry, buddy Cause here he comes Through the ghettos and the barrio And the barry and the slum His shadow is cast Wherever he stands Stacks of green paper In his red right hand Sorry, if I'm not completely like um, off here, I'm sure he's talking about. The I'm sure he's talking about the devil, which is pretty damn you know dark, of course. And also, like uh, if I scroll down here, it seems to be the uh, the theme songs for Peaky Blinders, um, which I've never seen. I want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> we just yesterday we watched an amazing movie. I I don't know if you watched it. Um, the new Christopher Nolan film, uh, Oppenheimer. It was oh my god, what a movie! It's worth it. Um, it. I mean, you have to have, you have to be into, you know, heavy dialogue movies. There's not a lot of action. There is. I was gonna say there's not a lot of explosions. There is. There is explosions, of course, but very big ones. But it's more like a think piece, you know. It's um, it's a great movie. Uh, just go watch it. The performances are amazing. Killian Murphy kills it. He's the lead guy, I guess, in Piggy Blinders. He plays he plays Robert Oppenheimer, and the the cast just goes on and on and on and on. I mean, there's just there's like literally every five minutes. An amazing actor pops up and has maybe just a couple of lines, you know. It's just like Christopher Nolan really killed it. So I, I highly recommend that movie. Let's keep going with the song. I'm loving it. Really, it has that, I don't know, um, uh, Tim, no, it was not Tim, Danny Elfman did something with uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, where it was also like, rum, bum, you know, the singing, and uh, it has that vibe, you know, I love it. So this is from 97, but I love that it got used, you know, for for a, for a television show. And I'm, I guess we're going to have to get, give Peaky Blinders a shot, but it's also like, who has time to watch all this stuff nowadays? So here, let's continue. Thank you. 
absolutely fantastic. Love the bass. Bum, 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 bum. That keyboard, it had like this really, it had kind of like a dark vibe to it, I have to say. Um, not just because Dave said so but i think it does um now this is uh I, I just read that they have four decades worth of music 17 studio albums so this is just like not even you know this doesn't represent of course the band i'm, I'm sure um there's more amazing songs to, to dive into but i think it's a nice introduction and uh, it is a theme you know it's themed so uh, this was great. This was a cool introduction. I'm definitely going to check out more Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds. Um, really, really cool. Um, just loved the whole vibe. It was just like the slow, almost like cowboyish, you know. It had this Western kind of feel to it. Really, really cool. And the lyrics, of course, you know, from the devil, you know, I, I really cool. Next up, Dorothy. Let's pull up the lyrics. Uh, Dorothy. So this is new. This is very, very new. Um, rest in peace. And this is music from um, 2022. Uh, so I'm really, really excited to, to listen to this. So this is uh, rock. The genre is rock. Um, gifts from the Holy Ghost. And uh, here we go. Rest in peace by Dorothy. Let's go. Blood on my hands, what's done is done. Left it by the road with the crows and the dust. Heart so hard. Peace. Black on 
rest in peace. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm super happily, I'm really happily surprised um, by this because it's rock, you know, it's 2022. They are playing rock. They are playing, even though it was a short guitar solo, there is a guitar solo. There's some nice distortion here. I mean, it's good, you know, it's going the right direction. Um, it's, you know, um, that's the music that is missing, you know, nowadays. I, I, I hope there's more where this came from. I mean, I, I mean, this band, let's see when they started. Okay, 2014, that's amazing. That's cool. Hard rock, blues rock, post-grunge, mainstream rock, and rock. Really cool. I really great singing, great drumming, bass. There was everything was, you know, in there. And I love the lyrics, of course. I did read them. It's kind of hard to analyze the music when you're reading along, but I do want to read along because it is themed and I wanna, you know, check out the lyrics. Usually I'm more focused on the music and I kind of like ignore the lyrics completely. Um, I know that sucks, but it's it's a one-time reaction. You can't take in everything and talk about like what chords they were using and also what the meaning of the song is, you know. So it's just like, but I like this really, really cool Dor Dorothy. It looks like they're doing very well um, because they do have over a million like monthly listeners. That is already amazing for, you know, I think more like of an independent rock band, which they are, I think. And uh, I looked here for artists that are similar. The only one that I do know is Blues Sarcino, but he's a guitar player um, that I kind of like. I don't know, maybe that's the style is a little bit similar, but everybody else that fans also enjoy, I don't re recognize anyone like Dead. Is it Posse, um, ZZ Ward, Diamante, Goodbye June, Royal Deluxe? Like, I don't know any of these bands. So really cool that there's a genre going on in 2022 like this, you know, instead of all the, all the electronic music that's just like so poor. I'm sorry, but it's it sucks. It's not, I mean... I guess some people like it, and if they like it, that's cool, you know, but I can't seem to get into the mumble and the, the whole stuff like that. Okay, so give me just one moment. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Thank you so much. I did have to use the restroom. So now uh, I've chosen my dark theme song, and it took me some time to get something that I was sure you were going to enjoy. I didn't want to play any death metal or, you know, <laughs> I'm going to go with a song, but I'm going to mention that at the end. Um, now we're going to continue with Dave's um, marathon, which is After Dark by Tito and the Tarantula. Um, this is from 1997. So let's give it up for them, and then I'll play my dark-themed song let's see if it hits if it hits home let's see if it delivers this time because most of my my songs that i add to marathons are uh universally despised i'm just kidding <laughs> so here we go after dark
Okay, so here it goes. This was perfect. So I, I'm into the theme. I'm loving it. I'm loving all these artists. Um, so I was gonna, I, I was between two, but I'm gonna do a third one. And this was a very, like, late decision. Literally just, like, right now. So I hope I got it right. So first I was gonna do um, Fade to Black by Metallica, which is pretty much very dark because it's about suicide um so i'm not gonna do that so then i i decided to do uh a, a song called by barry manilow copacabana but uh, which kind of fools you into thinking it's one thing but it's like actually super dark and then i said well i'm not gonna do that either um because it is kind of like too happy sounding so i'm actually gonna go with um i just had it pulled up here um with uh with wicked game by chris isaac um i'm sure there's a lot of people who like this song and it's pretty pretty damn like dark so this is from 1989 and chris isaac i, I still have to like type it in here Aha, uh -huh. there we go, and there we go, Chris Isaac, Wicked Game, my choice, Heart Shaped World, um, here we go. <laughs>
So just that last line, nobody loves no one, that's pretty dark. And the whole, what is this? Crowded house. Oh, we already did that in a different marathon. Um, yeah, just like, and then you don't even hear the, this world is only going to break your heart. I mean, this, of course, is more the, like the after dark lyrics, you know, that's what I wanted to uses a dark theme, you know, more of this, uh, like unhappy in love or, you know, because it's a reality, you know, so many people suffer from that, you know, just like not being in love or unhappy in love or yeah, it's just a difficult thing. You know, it's a difficult thing to find the right person. So I think this was pretty good option so let me know what you thought let me know what you thought of of dave's um you know uh choices i think they were amazing there was some great stuff there danzig was great great metal like not too heavy alabama was great nick cave man oh so cool i love that the alabama was more like a yeah almost electronic thing you know great lyrics Nick Cave, great lyrics, Dorothy, nice newer music, Tito and Tarantula was great as well. And then my choice, let me know what you thought. Thank you so, so much, everyone, for being here, you know, for supporting the channel, for liking the video, subscribing. Um, although 
I do have to mention 70% of all the people that watch this channel are not subscribed. So I want to encourage you guys to subscribe. It does help us out tremendously because it just shows the videos way more. There's videos that only have like 200 views with 71,000 subscribers. It's just baffling like that. Uh, YouTube just decides not to send out the uh, send out the videos or people don't click on them. I don't really know how it works. Um, you know, it's all Google controlling everything, I guess, you know. But uh, but yeah, if, if you subscribe, it does help. If you like the video, it does help. If you dislike the video, it even helps. Like just engage, leave a comment, something nice, you know, whatever you like uh, about the song. Um, maybe a thank you to Dave, you know, stuff like that. So thank you so, so much again for being here, for watching the videos, for supporting me and Alexia on this journey. Thanks again for supporting the marathon, for uh, sponsoring it. Dave, um, this was great. Thank you. And I'll see you guys in the next video.